Well, now to another crime story. The case of the toilet stolen from a famous British palace. But this is no ordinary loo. Thames Valley Police is investigating the burglary of a piece of art from Blenheim Palace. It was worth millions. Millions in solid gold. It's the heist that shocked the art world. What was the centrepiece of an exhibition on Friday is now a crime scene. A group of offenders broke into the palace and stole a high-value toilet. A six million dollar, 100 kilo golden toilet. A golden throne stolen from a famous palace. I thought it was a publicity stunt. I'm sort of wondering if it was just a prank. Theories it was an inside job by the artist. It wouldn't surprise me if he did something like stole his own artwork. How did they get in? And out, a clean getaway, or so it seemed. Well, we don't know a lot. I mean, the police are not releasing any information. UK police reckon they've cracked the case. Four local men arrested and charged, but... Where's the sculpture? What'd you do with it? Who'd you sell it to? Probably one of the greatest artists that we have today, but he could also be the worst. It's going to be one or the other. It's not going to fall in the middle. It was called America, the work of controversial installation artist Maurizio Catalan. He is one of the most important contemporary artists going around today. He's a brilliant artist, and I know a lot of people thought that a solid gold toilet was a bit uh, out there. Catalan's satirical commentary on society. Only 1% of the people in America could possibly afford such ridiculous wealth, and then he's bringing it down to everyone's level. We all go to the toilet. Hello, Nick Galvin. Nick Galvin is arts director at the Sydney yep. Morning Herald. He gets people talking. He gets people's attention. He leaves it us to us to think about what he might be saying with his work. The famously media-shy Maurizio is the man who gave the art world this work called Comedian. Comedian is a banana duct taped to a plain wall is intrinsically worthless, maybe 30 cents for a banana. The work is sold twice for 120,000 US dollars. So he's just taking the mickey out of the art world. You're stupid enough to pay 120,000 US for a banana? You go for your life. So a six million dollar loo makes a lot of sense. Originally, Maurizio's masterpiece of precious metal plumbing was installed in New York's Guggenheim Museum. They were queuing out the door. It became a thing. It's, it's participatory art. Over three years, more than 100,000 art lovers lined up, sometimes for more than an hour, just to get three minutes up close and personal with Catalan's work. Trust me, you're going to want to smuggle in a selfie stick for this one. Then it was moved to a more regal setting. Blenheim Palace in the UK, the ancestral home of Sir Winston Churchill, no less. At the time, the founder of the Blenheim Art Foundation, Lord Edward Spencer Churchill, scoffed at the idea that additional security might be required. It's not going to be the easiest thing to nick. Firstly, it's plumbed in, and secondly, a potential thief will have no idea who last used the toilet or what they ate. So no, I don't plan to be guarding it. Two days later... It was nicked. Gone without a trace, the thieves on the run. It's an 18-carat solid gold sculpture, and it certainly should have had uh, a, a private guard on it. Christopher Marinello is one of the world's leading experts in recovering stolen art. But in this instance, the police were right on it. But it's taken four years to make an arrest, and the fear is that Golden Lou has met with foul play. So I'm positive, in fact, most of the world feels the same way, that this thing was broken up, melted down, and sold for scrap. Six million down the drain, and the art world left holding on for answers and some relief. No pun intended, it'll be gold. I mean, everyone wants to know what happened and how they did it. I mean, who wouldn't be interested in a great dunny hut? Yeah, it's certainly intriguing. And the four accused will appear in court later this month.